Uh, the reason I'm here at our local Lowe's is that while we were gone in Hawaii, the disposal got jammed. And I think it's an our kids were at home. Our kids were at home. Yeah, we were in Hawaii. Kids yeah. were home. And um, I, it, it got jammed, and I think the kids left it on too long. Plus, it's like a 20 year old disposal. 15 to 20, probably. 15 to 20. So, anyways, and my wife, she's fact I'm, checking back there. I am. I'm so right anyways, back here. Yeah, you know, happy marriage with fact checks. Yes. So, I'm here looking at disposal. So there's a couple things. One, you know, they got like, I don't think, it, I don't know who needs, unless you have like a, what do they call those, uh, chef kitchens where yeah. you're entertaining a lot. Get a lot of stuff going down the uh, disposal. Yeah. I don't think you need a horsepower, like a one horsepower, that's a lot. Yeah. You put a lot of crap down there, go for it. Otherwise, I think most homes are like a half to a third. The insincorator is what we have. I will tell you one thing, because I've had to have this problem before at the other house we fixed up. You have, they're kind of standard height, but every once in a while, you got just make sure you don't get one that's too long. Because I was looking at mowing here, and I think it could be a problem. You can look at the height difference right yeah, there. Yeah, so there's, you know, maybe a two inch or something. But that can become an issue underneath the sink. Other than that, disposal's a freaking disposal, I think, you know. Some of them come with, like, sound dampening, but, dude, you turn it on, you turn it off. It makes noise. That's just part of what it is. If you want to pay for sound dampening, so when you turn it on, it's not as loud, go for it. I don't care. So we're gonna go with a nice basic one. I can do the half horsepower because that's what we had. It works well, we got a lot of kids putting stuff down it. Let me show you the exciting thing of taking out an old nasty one and putting in a new one. Okay, so we're home now and I'm putting on rubber gloves because sometimes the, it's just nasty. And this has been sitting here a few days before we got it, so I, this is extra precaution. But one thing you need to do is have a bucket because there's going to be water and crap spilling. And we're just trying to catch any water that comes down. So get towels, get stuff to kind of catch some of the junk as you disconnect it. Uh, there's always some water. Okay, I'm just unhooking surrounding pipes. You see there's the water. You just got to drop this out because we're going to take the disposal unit. And it comes out really easy, you'll see. But uh, you just got to get this crap out. Ugh. Not a lot, that's good. Okay, then we just have to unscrew this because we're removing, I think this is the ventilation pipe kind of thing. It's kind of gross. Set that there, it's leaking a little bit. So now, we just have to twist this off. So it's always gonna be a little heavier. Right, I have to just, should be able to just move this and then it kind of clunks off. I think I might have to take this part off. I don't think it comes with the disposal. So I might have to take that off, but let's let's open the other box and see what we got. So open this up. Okay. It looks like it might have the downspout here, but we'll see. This part is what goes around the sink here, but because we're using the same insincorator, we shouldn't have to fuss with this. But let's hang on to it in case the other one breaks. Yes. We can do that. It's a wise yeah, friend that gave you that advice. It'll never break, but that's fine. We'll hang on to it. You, okay. you never know. We'll pretend it is like a decoration and we'll put it in a Tupperware and we'll store it for years. Okay, now we're moving on. <laughs> All right, there is the little unit. The incinerator. Isn't that what? Insincorator. 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 The nice thing with this is that you get a new little thingy yeah, it gets kind of here. Gunky. The other one is just so gross. All right, so it comes with the little side drainage pipe. I'm sure there's a more technical term. I want to install it now rather than trying to reach underneath there and do it when it's a pain in the butt for access. So you just kind of install it here because it really just goes like down pretty straight. All right, so a little pinch that should be able to screw this in, get it started. It's gonna do a little bit. I want it to be even. He's waiting on his camera mo woman. Yes, action. Okay, so I got that screwed on. Uh, it's a nice little gasket, get that sealed. Honestly, changing that is really easy. We're gonna take with that screwdriver and just pop it back on, and then we'll hook the tubes back up. So we got this installed, and now what we're doing is we have a dishwasher going into it, so we have to punch out the hole here. That's the little black tube that comes on. It's actually sealed, I guess, for when if people don't have the dishwasher attached. 
So we have to punch that out. And I realized it doesn't come with a power cord. So I gotta take it off of here and then put it and attach it here through all this stuff. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's pull, let's punch out this, which I need to go get a hammer. Someone didn't put his hammer away, so he's using the I think same someone tool. Someone used it. I don't get it. I don't know where the hammer would be. I put things away. Right. You use your improvised hammer. You pop out the little thing here, just so that tube can flow. So now let's take this off. Hold this. Start it. <laughs> take two. Go ahead. Is, this is the old disposal. And so you can see the cord here. I'm gonna hang on to these little babies. And there's some nice new little ones you can use that are a little more effective, but you gotta pull this out. Okay, so we pull this cord out. And now we gotta take this, take the bottom off the other one, run it through, do the same little deal. So let's do that next. It's good. Everything's just ready there to be attached. Okay. So we're gonna take the little clamp here that holds the cord in, take that off the old unit, screw it in, Come on, turn the corner, yeah. it might be easier to attach this, run the cord when you have more room, and then screw it in, so anyways, you run it through, and then we're gonna take this and just little wires here. And I'm gonna actually test this before I put it back in. I wanna make sure I got it all wired up because I do not wanna have to take it all apart and take it back down and do everything. All right, here's the ground. I wanna test this. So I'm gonna plug it in, unplug it. It should go off. It works. <laughs> That's faster than I thought. So it works. So the wiring is good. Let's pop it back in there and then we're gonna put the plate on top. So we've installed the power cord, which it looks like, I just got a standard box. They, you probably need to have your old cord come onto your new one. We installed the little side flow and we have the, the dishwasher ventilator hole opened. So I think we're good. So let's go pop it on. So you gotta hold it where you want so it doesn't twist. This thing pivots. And the hard part is getting all three to hook up. When I did this before, they don't always all three hook up. Oh, but I think I got it. Slide that, doesn't go any further. And then we take our little connector tubes, little connector tubes, we're gonna tighten that back up. And then we're gonna take, take that one. Back on. Reattach the pipes. I think we should be good. So now I'm going to plug it in. Oh, turn it off. <laughs> My wife wants me to say the last step is cleaning out underneath there for your wife. It is. That's the last step. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, the incinerator is in. It's all in. Everything's hooked up. You know, run some water, make sure there's no leaks, make sure everything's tight. We just realized that the top of the outlet was full power. The bottom socket was hooked to this. So you just test it, it's all good. It's that easy really, so you can do it. If he can do it, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it, no problem. And your wife can stand there and just watch you the whole time. I'm not micromanaging you, <laughs> I'm filming you, thank you. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to learn, if you're, um, uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> if your disposal is leaking, it's working but it's leaking, then there's another, click the little next video link, upper corner, wherever my wife puts it. Uh, that'll show you how to fix it. So, and that helped a lot. We actually had that problem three years ago. Three, four years ago. It lasted all this time. It finally just went out after like 20 years of life. So, we're installing a new one. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Come check out the other little videos my wife does. And uh, thanks. Have a good one.